Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Some Good Seeds with Wayne Hathaway. Glad to have you here. Got a little hoarseness in the old throat this morning, so you'll have to bear with me. As you can tell in the background, uh, it's just beginning to get a little daylight here in Billings, Montana. So glad to have you with me today. Our reading is in Jeremiah 31 and 32 and 1 John chapter 4. And the, the verses that have just struck me today are in uh, Jeremiah 32 verses 37 and 38. And I have a couple little seeds that I want to plant uh, today. The, those verses read, Behold, I will gather them out of all countries where I have driven them in my anger, in my fury, and in great wrath. I will bring them back to this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. They shall be my people, and I will be their God. Both of these chapters are, are just incredible testimony, uh, not only to the faithfulness of God, which in and of itself is, a, is totally amazing, but to the fact that one day God is going to do this. And actually the process for that happening began on May the 14th, 1948. And it continues right up to this day. It hasn't totally been fulfilled because we know certainly if we read papers or uh, pay attention to the news about Israel, uh, they aren't dwelling safely yet. But that will come. That is going to happen because God is faithful to do what he said he will do. Uh, and it is truly amazing. And that that just brings me to this conclusion that if he is faithful to do this, I can trust him to do everything that he has promised, including uh, the day of his wrath that is going to be poured out upon the ungodly and the sinners who reject his offer of salvation. When I think of, of the faithfulness of God and how my how he has, he has stretched out his hand to Israel over and over, but they wouldn't listen. And finally, he brought judgment upon them. And if he has done that to those who are the apple of his eye, what will be the fate of those who reject him? It is impossible. I can't even begin to imagine the absolute horror of that day for a person who doesn't know the Lord. But there is a flip side to that, and that's the good news that is so wonderful for us to consider. If he's been faithful to his beloved, what will happen to those who have received the gift of salvation of his grace and have surrendered their will to him? Uh, the glory and wonder of heaven are, are beyond are beyond comprehension, can't even begin to imagine what that's going to, to be like. And so to God alone, who is only wise, uh, all the praise, all the honor, all the glory belongs to him for that which awaits his children. Uh, certainly, it is not a, a great thought to, to think about the fate of those who have rejected the grace of God. Uh, their fate is horrible beyond beyond comprehension, but as bad as that is, it is even more wonderful to contemplate what awaits those of us who have received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and who know him in a personal and intimate way. What does God have in store? I don't know what all is going to take place. I, I Sometimes I feel like Amos, I'm not a prophet nor the son of a prophet, but at the same time I see things on the horizon that uh, boy, are serious beyond my ability to comprehend that. And I, I wonder what is going to take place, wonder what's going to happen in this world, what's going to happen in this country. But here's what I do know. I know he is faithful. No matter what your circumstance, no matter what your situation, he is faithful. He will keep us. He will hold us in the palm of his hand. He who neither slumbers nor sleeps will watch over you and whatever is going on in your life. You can trust him today. So as you start out this week, this first week of uh, August the 23rd, beginning today, this Monday, and going through this week. I pray this week will be an awesome week for you. Take time for the Word of God. Take time to commune with the Lord and to fellowship with Him and with other brothers and sisters and allow the Spirit of God to move and work in your heart and life today. May the Lord richly bless you, I pray.